Uh, let's understand why it is so important to model prepayments. So why really the big fuss behind prepayments? And why do we have so many sophisticated models around prepayments? Now, this is because uh, MBS Securities offer uh, offer the facility for borrowers to make prepayments or they can make earlier payments on their loans. The idea is if they can prepay their loans, they can naturally curtail uh, the overall loan period. So that is naturally going to save on their interest expense, isn't it? Because if uh, let's say my initial loan period was 30 years. If that loan period through prepayments, I'm uh, able to bring it down to maybe, let's say, 28 years. Then the last two years whereby I would have had paid interest, that gets saved because I'm prepaying the loan. So that's why understanding prepayments is important because this is going to have an impact on the returns which will be earned by MBS security holders. And that's why banks spend a considerable amount of effort uh, whenever they are doing modeling of such prepayment rates. Now, it is observed that prepayment of principles is fast. Now, now we naturally know that whenever prepayments quickly happen, that is going to result in a diminishing principle. And if your principal amount is diminishing faster or it's reducing faster, that is naturally going to have an impact on the overall interest calculation. That is the interest calculations are also going to, uh, going to get curtailed, I would say, over a as compared to the earlier loan life because that way if your uh, loan amount is getting prepaid earlier then naturally you you have a chance of saving on interest so that is something which gets uh which impacts investor returns now for a modeling purpose uh, there are two quantities which are generally used one is a scheduled prepayment and other is the unscheduled prepayment now a scheduled prepayment is uh, these that amortize the principal as per the original schedule so that is something which is like a known quantity, I would say. So these are the scheduled prepayments. There is something which we call as an unscheduled prepayment. Now, this is something which has an impact which is higher as compared to uh, the scenario whereby there are no prepayments. Now, this is a scenario whereby borrowers might want to benefit from either uh, prepaying the loans in some way, maybe either a turnover or maybe refinancing, whichever. But that implies that the borrowers are going to repay the loan quickly. And this is what we try to study under the idea or the gamut of unscheduled prepayments. Now for the examination, remember that we measure the principal amount prepaid as a percentage of total principal outstanding. So whatever percentage calculations, etc., which we, which we uh, may have to calculate on the examination, these should be calculated based on this idea or this logic. And this is the reason behind modeling of correct prepayment rates. So that's why banks, financial institutions, and even savvy investors, they are going to spend a lot of effort, maybe building advanced quantitative models and also using their technical know-how in the market to try and model the prepayments in the best way possible, because this is going to give them a fair idea as to what is the kind of return which they can expect on their investments in MBS securities. Now that we know why modeling of prepayments is important, it would be a good idea to understand a couple of terminologies. Uh, so, uh, so we start with SMM or what we call a single monthly mortality. Now SMM is defined as the a percentage of principal outstanding at the beginning of a certain month N that is prepaid during that month N where these payments are excluded from the scheduled principal payment because if it's a scheduled principal payment then we know i mean uh, that is the kind of prepayment which was uh, going to happen but something which is higher than that what we call as an unscheduled payment that is something which we try to relate with the idea of smm so this is technically the definition of smm for any month we have kept it as generic month n this can be uh, any month basically now to understand uh, these calculations we'll assume that a certain uh, MBS mortgage pool is going to prepay at a certain constant rate equal to SMM. Now going through the table below, now to understand the amount of principal that remains at the end of the month, we simply take a difference between 1 minus SMM of N. Now if we want to extend this to one year, now this was like one month. Now if I want to extend this to one year, I simply need to take 1 minus SMM for the month N raised to 12. 12 because there are 12 months in a year. So this gives us the amount of principal that remains at the end of 12 months, that is one year. Now further, 
we could also want to know what is the amount of principal that was prepaid because the first two calculations told us the amount of principal that remained now if you want to see the other side of the calculation that is if you want to see uh, what is the amount of principal that was repaid during the year we simply subtract this quantity 1 minus smm raised to 12 from 1 which is shown right here so this gives us the amount of principal that was prepaid during the year so these are just the two sides of the same coin so this is how we can understand these simple calculations now we can relate smm with the idea of cpr or what you call as a conditional prepayment rate another important quantity and these two are related ideas so firstly cpr is an annualized rate whereas smm is a monthly rate again something which you need to keep in mind for the examination so there can be a question which talks about uh, the way in which these rates are uh, mentioned so at that time remember cpr is always the annualized rate smm is a monthly rate now two quantities are related they are not independent of each other now cpr is one minus or basically this is the similar formula which we had seen in the previous uh, table so this gives the cpr for a certain month n and we can simply rearrange now it may so happen that we have been given the number for cpr and we have to imply smm simple you have to simply rearrange this equation and that's how we can calculate smm or the other way around so on the exam you may either be given let's say a cpr or smm and you may have to calculate the other so you can simply rearrange this formula and we get to know the cpr for month end or smm for month end. so just to uh, demonstrate this through a very simple calculation now let's say there is a certain mortgage pool which is pre which prepared 0.5 percent of the principal above its amortizing principal in a given month that is we can imagine that this is something which is above the scheduled principal uh, payments now if we are to calculate the cpr for this pool we can use this formula which you have written right here whereby we are calculating cpr for a certain month so it is one minus this 0.5 percent which was the additional prepaid payment which happened we just take this difference raised to 12 and we subtract it from 1 so that gives us to uh, gives us a number of 5.83 now way to interpret this 5.83 that is we expect 5.83 percent of the principal outstanding at the beginning of the year to be prepared by the end of the year so that's how we can understand this number of 5.83 percent 